going on guys just got a small rig all in one video kit so basically this is just an aluminum frame clamps your phone gives you some uh, some handles to grab onto uh quick unboxing i'm actually uh i've got my work phone here we'll set that up in there um more for more so just for demonstration uh because what i'm actually recording with now is my 15 pro max and that's what this is going to be destined for it's a quick unboxing there's some tape there but it actually tells me to open it here so we'll try oh i see this is actually a handle yeah just a little marketing gimmick all right walk around the box uh, just a picture of how it's assembled, nothing about what's included, there's a picture of what's inside, here we go. <clears throat> you got your phone cage, microphone, windscreen, uh, foam windscreen, a fur windscreen, or some people call it like dead cat, or sock, uh, an Allen wrench, tripod, power bank holder, two cable ties, three and a half mil camera cable, three and a half mil smartphone cable, so quarter 20, two of them. Two handles, cold shoe mount, USB-C charging cable, carrying bag, user manual, shock mount, and LED light. So it's going to have an adapter for USB-C, which I'll need for the 15. And then it's got to have a lightning for, I think it's uh, 12 Pro Max. So nothing else in the box. Nice little carrying case there. And it's a double zipper all the way around. Set down here. Let's take a look. All right, so it's actually packed on both sides. It's not just a bunch of foam. A little flap here to hold everything in place. Oh, this is nice. Actually, there's a, there's a home for everything. The uh, foam's a little squished, unfortunately, on this side. That's too bad. Hopefully that'll fix itself over time. That stinks. But, <clears throat> oh, I, I thought this was going to be plastic. That's all, that's all metal. I don't know how that all locks in, but maybe you need a little Loctite for that Allen there. It's very loose. So, you know, if you're panning, you don't want that to loosen up on you. You want this to loosen up on you and pan, pan smoothly there. So that'll get a dab of blue Loctite. Nice and fluid on there. So I actually have another small rig, um, piece of gear it came with there it didn't come with it but i bought it for my insta 360 they make the, the frame for the insta 360 as well so nice little ball mount that's a little not as fluid as i would like but gives you the flexibility there i mean realistically that's not going to be fluid uh yeah but this is uh that's nice that's nice and smooth there's a bubble level on there loosen that up to release the shoe right so that shoe will hang on to because that'll go on the, the frame have to figure out how to get this to fix itself they just cram in there during whatever i'm sure all right cool let's see what else we got so we've got uh handles which look to be that foam kind of got a little sticky it looks like so Let's, see. Let's get some of my junk out of the way from 3D printing. Slide that up. Try to keep an inventory of what we got here. Take that tripod out. Got another handle here. So left and right. Got a light here. Plastic mount. So let's see how long that lasts. Um, I think this is to adjust brightness or color temperature. Not entirely sure just yet. USB-C. Power button. Oh, there we go. And that is going to be your brightness. Oh, well, that actually gets pretty bright. Show that to you guys here. Nice. And that's only half charged, which makes sense. And it says it is a Vibe P96 with a 3.7 volt battery. 2200 milliamps for 8.14 watt hours. Cool. We'll set that there. Here's the microphone with the foam windsock on it. And then it's, I don't want to misspeak, but shotgun style, maybe? 
but it's got stuff on the side, so maybe it'll pick up a little bit of ambient noise too. Uh, the Wave S1 Lite. Tuck that back in there. Three and a half millimeter. We'll take a look at the cabling next. That's all for this side. Nice little carrying bag for some of the accessories, I imagine. Instruction manual. All right, now the business end of things, right? So also plastic, brass insert. This is gonna hold your microphone like so. Don't like that it's plasticky, not kind of that rubberized material, but hopefully that doesn't chatter too much when you're using the mic. Set that there. Before we get to that, let's open this box here. <clears throat> All right, so got two adapters here. One for an iPhone, Lightning. And it's a three and a half millimeter and another Lightning on there. So not USB-C on this guy. So it's Lightning, Lightning, three and a half mil for Mike. USB-C, USB-C, three and a half mil for Mike. And a couple of Allens, a couple of quarter 20s, a couple of pieces of Velcro. We'll just leave that in there for now so we don't lose them. So, just a USB A to USB C cable here. And then two three and a half millimeter cables. So, I'm not seeing a difference here. That's tip ring sleeve and this is oh there we go there's the difference right so tip ring sleeve tip ring ring sleeve so trrs i see so this is uh for phone and this one's unlabeled okay well oh you know what this is if you um uh, you don't need the adapter i'm gonna plug this directly into your phone my phone doesn't have that so we're gonna be using the red guy. I don't know very many phones that still come with three and a half millimeter uh, jacks. Ooh. She's a fluffy little girl. A little bit of extra material in here. Kind of feels like it's ripping off, but. So this guy goes on your microphone like a saw. Oh. It feels like there's a piece of foam in there. I don't want to push it away too much. There you go. So in like really windy environments, you fluff this up, helps deaden that wind noise. Perhaps my breathing as I do these videos. Right. Pop that off. Almost felt like I was gonna crack the plastic. There you go, just like that. <clears throat> so we'll set that aside. Right. right here, drop the foam. All right, so this is the guy that's gonna hold on to, uh, nice, it has the quarter 20 there. Let's hold on to your battery. All right, so this is gonna clamp on to the back of this guy, like that. shoe mount set that there and the moment y'all been waiting for enough yapping the actual frame itself and actually surprisingly light i mean it's aluminum expected to be light so we'll set that there these will go on to the sides there Ta -da. that on the bottom it's got integrated cold shoe mounts already right if you want to add another cold shoe mount you could add it wherever Right, we're gonna use the iPhone one right now because I'm using the one that uses the USB C. You want to add your light there, tripod mount there. And that's kind of the mock up, right? So let's go ahead and assemble this really quick. Swap this guy around, 
and try, uh, sorry about that. Try putting it at the topmost level. I'm gonna finger tight everything for right now. Go back later and snug everything up a little bit tighter later. All right, finger tight, <clears throat> finger tight. There's a little set screw here, or I'm sorry, thumb screw. All right, so you wanna, so I'm gonna leave it in the case. You wanna avoid your lock buttons and your up down volume buttons. And then it just drops into place like so. And I'm gonna get it as close as I can there. And just snug her up. Nice. So you can stop right there if you wanted to, right? Just use that. And already it just, it feels, right? It's not doing any stabilization. It just gives you a mechanism to hold the phone versus like holding it in the middle and you're just kind of like all jittery. You're holding it to the sides. So you're a lot more fluid anyways, right? You're using your legs, you're using your arms to kind of stabilize things. Yeah, already feels better. I'm curious how it's going to feel once you start adding weight to it, right? So <clears throat> for grins, let's do... The tripod mount. Now, I'm not entirely sure which direction the mount should go. I'm thinking it should go like this, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Should I mount it like this? Drop something in the comments. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. Or better yet, maybe I should read the instructions. Right, because I can just do that guy. No, no, I'm messing here. Oh, right, right, right. Like this. Those little set screws hold it in place. Right, like that. Yeah, so this just started twisting on me because I didn't tighten it all the way. But what I'm doing now is this gives me a nice little platform to work from all the other things on there. See, there's a method to my madness, guys. Right. So, pop the microphone off so it's out of the way. <clears throat> uh, so, the lightning connectors on this side. Shoo. You know, we could do that. Check them apples out. Huh? So, lightning connectors on this side, which will be this guy. So we'll put all the connectors and the microphone and everything on this side, like that. Put the cold shoe for the mic here, just kind of center that. All right. Let's unlock my phone. Uh, you know what? I might have pulled the trigger. No, I think we're good at that. All right. This guy, plug it into that. That's why they give you the Velcro, because you have a lot of extra stuff floating around here. All right, plug that in there. Put that on there. Yeah, that's, that's happy. Okay. The light. Let's put the light on here. Like that. I don't have a battery here right now, but I do have one upstairs I can grab later. <clears throat> All right. Let's grab the Allen, I'll put that battery holder on. Four 20s and Velcro. And actually, I think what these holes are here for is that you can take an Allen and just go, and go righty tighty the right way, right? Like that to give her an extra little tighten. <laughs> Now remember, it's aluminum, so you don't want to go too crazy, but okay, so that's nice and tight. These are just kind of finger tight, which is all you need. Now, on this side, let's see what we got here. Mm, battery mount like that. Oh, I guess you can go lower too. So if you want to like lower that, that weight, you could mount it upside down. Yeah, mount it upside down if you want to lower that center of gravity. 
is not the right size Allen. That's way too small. So they include two Allen keys, except uh, it's the wrong size. They include two of the same. So what I'm going to do, we've got we are set here. Let's see if we get a big enough here. Three? Nope, three's too small. Mm, those are not drivers. Oh, I got my 3 printer right here. I definitely got the right size. Ooh, lost the bear. I definitely got the right size. Hang on. I don't know what size this is, but it is the correct size from my 3D printer, which is right next to me. Let's go ahead and tighten those up. Try to get that nice and centered. Snug. Snug. Tighten. Tighten. What I'm going to do is, after this is all kind of assembled, I'm going to take it all apart. A little rattle to it. Take it all apart. Oh, this is really tough to get to when you tighten it. Maybe this must be upside down. Yeah, I don't like that at all. So that's like impossible to tighten. Because there's no clearance, right, to get your finger in here. So this is going to go upside down. For sure. I'm going to loosen all it. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten all this back up with a little dab of blue Loctite so that way as you use this and it bounces around I'm going to come as rattling apart on you while you're using it all right so what I'm getting at about flipping it upside down that way now you have access to the thumb screw to tighten it you could also mount it this way I like that too access to that let's go ahead and this is the correct allen size right here i believe yep and if you mount it that way or this down you can't actually turn this oh well, yeah you could okay i'll bite know if this is actually that's sketchy that's gonna strip out not a fan of that <clears throat> so what I would recommend is to use a flathead that is really tricky to do one-handed when you have all the stuff on here very tricky yeah I'm doing it right there it goes really no, no way to like really index this when you're trying to do this. So you just kind of get it on there and then snug her up. Okay, just gonna lock the ball there. And I've seen guys do this when they're doing like some selfie vlogging, right? Grab it like so, or even if you want to grab it, yeah, it's not bad. So this actually almost kind of mimics the weight of the battery, too. Yeah, not bad. Okay, I'll bite. It's not a button. Okay, I'm like, 
natural. <clears throat> now let's see if I can uh, really quick clean up these cables. Last thing you want is this thing to be rattling around while you're trying to film something. I don't know exactly what their intentions are on how to clean all this up. So I'm just going to do this really quick because I think this is what should go. Although, I think that's going to chatter too. I don't know. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, unlock your phone. <clears throat> Video. Hmm. Test one, two. Pushing the audio out of this. Must be. Test one, two. Hmm. Nice. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll check the uh, instructions really quick. Where did I put that box? Just to see how wrong I did this or right because now I'm curious there we go. even better add so we don't lose it let's add the hot shoe mount or sorry, cold shoe mount to the top that way it doesn't disappear you can always add it to the bottom if you're not going to use that tripod There, snug that there. <clears throat> so, instructions say, one of these fold out guys. Mm -mm -mm. It doesn't say. So, that's however you want to do it. The picture shows it with the bubble bubble and the knob out towards whoever so yeah okay well turn this through 90 degrees and then yeah that works that's pretty much all she wrote so the only screw up hiccup is uh got two of the seam signs allen so Get yourself an Allen if you don't already have one. There's another Velcro strap here. I think this is not ideal because that can chatter and probably pick up on that. Uh, there's the USB-C adapter with the 3.5mm. USB-C to USB-A. And then if you have the 35 built into your phone. Uh, yeah, that's... Well, I got the carrying case, but we won't squeeze that in now. Yeah, that's it. Right. So if you're just kind of using that as a stand, you can pop that off, and away you go for a quick little vlogging setup. I feel like I'm driving a car with a steering wheel. Cool. That's it.